Our Getting Started with Pi APPDL lessons are intended to provide you with a jump start in understanding and implementing Pi and APDL. However, we recognize that we can't cover everything that is possible with Pi and APDL in these video lessons. Thus, knowing where to find the information you need in the documentation or how to get help on your questions is an important next step as you start to develop your programs on your own. In this video, we will provide details on the Pi MAPDL documentation site and its GitHub page. Okay, let's get started. The Pi MAPDL documentation can be found on mapdldocs.pyansys.com. The API reference is the documentation on all the categories in the Py MAPDL API, whereas the documentation for the Pythonic implementation of APDL commands is found here in the MAPDL commands. In addition to the examples covered in the workshops, there are quite a few examples available for users here under the examples section. Each example includes links to both the Python and JupyterLab notebooks files at the bottom of the page. Examples include full Pi MAPDL examples, miscellaneous examples that tend to touch upon a specific feature, several from the ANSYS Help Verification Manual and Mechanical APDL Technology Demonstration Guide, and some extended examples showcasing other concepts such as interoperability of Pi MAPDL with other Python modules. The search tool here in the upper left corner is a great tool as it searches all the documentation. It's very useful to jump to a specific Pythonic APDL command or to find an example that touches upon a specific topic. PyANSYS is an open source offering hosted on GitHub. PyMAPDL's dedicated page can be found at github.com slash PyANSYS slash PyMAPDL. The GitHub platform is a community driven, so users can post their questions and answer others' questions here under discussions. Here in Issues, users can request a new feature, an enhancement to an existing feature, and report any issues they may have found. Before we conclude this video, I'd like to point out that if you or someone you know would like to contribute to the PyMAPDL project, more information can be found on the documentation site here. 